I've always referred to the Android kernel as the engine of the operating system. While Google works to optimize these to benefit as many people as possible, they can be tuned in a very specific direction. I've seen custom kernels for Android that focus solely on performance while sacrificing battery optimizations in the process. And I've also seen custom kernels on the other end of the spectrum too. Ones that promise loads of extra battery life, but they have to sacrifice performance in order to do so. Finding the right custom kernel that matches your goal is important. And today I'm gonna to show you how to install the Kira Sakura custom kernel on the Google Pixel 6 as well as the Pixel 6 Pro. Now installing this does require that we have root access ahead of time. So if you haven't rooted your Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro yet, check the video description below as I'll have a link to the dedicated tutorial that I did showing exactly how that is done. We also need to have a kernel flashing application installed. I have previously suggested the Franco kernel manager application since this feature has been included in that application for quite some time. But there's also the free and open source kernel flasher application as well. And I'll be linking to that in the video description below. Lastly, we need to download the latest version of the Kira Sakura custom kernel for the device that matches your phone. I'll be linking to this original post on XDA in the video description as well, because down here you're gonna find the download links for the latest versions, as well as the change log for each version that has been released. Be careful not to flash the Pixel 6 Pro kernel on the base Pixel 6. And don't flash the Pixel 6 custom kernel on the Pixel 6 Pro. When you go to the download page, there's going to be one download for the Pixel 6, and there's going to be one for the Pixel 6 Pro. So make sure your download matches the device you currently own. So when you're ready to begin, we're gonna open up the kernel flasher application. And you're gonna get some information about the device as well as the two slots we have. So up here at the top, look to check which slot is listed here because that means that is your active slot. In this example, we are on active slot A. So we're gonna be flashing this to the slot A. However, if you see slot suffix B, then you're going to want to flash this custom kernel to slot B. So we're going to go into slot A and we're going to tap the flash button. And this is going to take you to a downloads page so that you can browse and find the zip file for the custom kernel. You can see a lot of text is going to scroll on the screen as this custom kernel is being flashed to your device. And you're going to want to make sure that, that it says done at the very bottom and that you do not see any error messages right here. As long as everything's good, we're going to tap the reboot button there at the bottom. And we're just going to do a regular reboot. There's no need to boot into recovery mode or fast boot mode right now. We're just doing a standard reboot, which you could even do from the power menu as well.
and you can see that's all there is to it. Now we have successfully installed a custom kernel on our Google Pixel 6. When the phone boots back up, we can check a couple of things to make sure everything was installed properly. For example, if we open up Majisk and go into Modules, you should see a AK, AK3 helper module that has been installed from this custom kernel. This module needs to stay enabled because if you remove it or disable it, it will result in a boot loop. We can even check the Android version section in the About page of the Settings application as there is a kernel version entry right here to make sure that the Kira Sakura custom kernel has been installed. You'll find the name right there in the information string. Now with the custom kernel installed on the Google Pixel 6, or Pixel 6 Pro, I, re I recommend putting the phone through its paces after you notice that the kernel has been installed. I remember my Pixel 6 getting noticeably warm during regular use with the stock kernel, and I don't notice this anymore, at least when doing basic tasks like reading through the news and scrolling through Reddit. Performance should be about the same. I only noticed a tiny drop in benchmark numbers, like less than 1%, compared to what I see online. And that totally falls in line with margin of error results. So if you're curious about trying out a custom kernel on your Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro, I highly recommend the Kiri Sakura custom kernel. Again, I'll be linking to this thread in the video description below that lists all of the features this developer has put into this kernel. I can't go through all of these in this video, but there is a lot of work and the goal, the overall goal is to improve security, stability, and performance of this device.